Hello there, I'm Black Bright. Just a quick video. I was listening to Teach Them this morning, who I'm subscribed to, and he was saying that Brigadier Jerry has been arrested. Um, apparently, they were in Connecticut in a card place, and they was all playing cards. Um, there was some kerfuffle. Next thing you know, some gunshot. Brigadier supposed allegedly leaves the scene of the leaves the scene comes back with a gun, starts firing shots. He doesn't kill anyone, though, and apparently jumped in his car and leaves. Apparently, um, somebody nicked his wallet, or he believes somebody nicked his wallet during the game, and he got peed off, and I think that was his way of, you know, warning people, you know, listen, whoever's got my wallet, give it back to me. Anyway, he goes off. Um, the police are called, and... I just want, for those of you who don't know Brigadier Jerry, I can't play much of this track because I'm not allowed, but I'm just going to play a few seconds, just so you can identify with who he is. Yeah, so that's Brigadier Jerry. Uh, and guess what he's been charged with? He's been charged with first degree robbery. Oh, apparently when he went back into the restaurant, um, he grabbed some money off of the table and left. I don't know whose money it was. I don't know if it was his or somebody else's, but he grabbed some money and left. And look what he's been charged with. He's been charged with first degree robbery, first degree reckless endangerment, illegal discharge of a firearm, carrying a pistol without a permit, illegal transfer of a pistol, altering a serial number on a firearm and he's being held on a 250,000 bail bond. It's not worth getting angry. It's not worth going back and taking revenge and going and get a gun, especially as a black man in America. You know, you've got to think. I know your emotions run high, but you really need to think because now... I don't know if he's going to do time, but he could be deported. He's lived in, um, he's 62. He's lived in America for quite a long time. I don't know exactly how long, but he's a legend. And you allow people in a game. If they're, if they're cheating or whatever they're doing, I mean, losing your wallet is one thing. You know, it must be really difficult, especially if you've got a lot of money in it. And I can understand how that will rail you up. But to go back and get a gun, bring it in and start shooting, he didn't hurt anybody. He didn't kill anyone. But look at all the charges. I'd be very interested to know if he's going to do jail time. I don't even know what the, the consequences of all of those are. It sounds pretty serious to me. But it's such a shame. And I just wanted to let you know that our prayers are with Brigadier Jerry. We can get angry and we can get frustrated. But in the heat of the moment, we don't even think. But, you know, the time it took for him to leave the restaurant, go and get the firearm, which they reckon he did, and come back he must have been really, really angry. But the fact of the matter is, is it worth it? If he feels it's worth it, then fine. But we didn't hear that he got his wallet back. He's been arrested. He's in jail. £250,000 bond. Who's going to be able to pay that for him? I don't even think, you know, he's such a legend, but I don't think he's up there enough to say he's a millionaire. If he was a millionaire, I don't know if he'd be in there playing cards. So I don't even know if he or his family could raise that kind of money to get him out. Oh, it's such a shame. Anyway, that's all I wanted to share with you. Bye-bye.